Revelation 1948. From the 12th of June 1941. Arousing the Spirit. Love. A so called awakening of the Spirit will always take place when a self improvement has proceeded through laboring neighborly love. Every work of love purifies the soul and thus bursts the fetters of the spirit, for the spirit slumbers in the human being as long as the covering is still tight. However, through heartfelt prayer strength can be requested for this act of loosening the spirit, although this will always happen on the path of active love, a person who asks will also be more easily able to work with love. For a person who asks carries a certain humility within himself, and thus serving is not difficult for him either. Every prayer imparts strength, and what a person requires great will power for he easily manages after heartfelt prayer. The power of prayer is immense and yet too little recognized. That is why people sometimes have to struggle a lot before the spirit in them becomes free whereas intimate prayer leads them almost effortlessly upwards. Prayer in spirit and in truth connects the human being with God, that is, he seeks the connection with him himself, and since God himself is love, the human being's feeling must now express itself in love. But a work of neighborly love likewise draws God as love itself. Love, however, frees the spirit in the human being so that it can unite with the spiritual beyond itself, from which light and strength, that is knowledge and power, are imparted to it. Only then can the human being's nature become as it corresponds to divine will, and the soul will mature and develop upwards in earthly life. Amen.